Welcome guys! This video is about 10 game mechanics in PUBG that in my opinion needs to be changed. This is not about bugs, desync, lag, optimizations, weapon balance or the like, but instead about the rules that define how you play the game. And the first one is aim offset. When you go from aiming into ADS, you're aiming at two different points. Your crosshair and your scope or sight simply does not align. This makes quickscoping more difficult and is just an unnecessary misalignment in first person perspective. It does have a place in third person perspective, as it does make sense that going from third person camera to ADS will require you to adjust your aim a bit, but for FPP this shouldn't be there. Aim Punch When you take damage your aim gets punched upwards. The more damage you take, the more your aim moves up. If your vest breaks during combat, you will get a very high aim punch, which can easily mean you missing that critical headshot. As PUBG evolves as a competitive esports shooter, I would like to have this feature completely removed, lowered or have some way of minimizing it, as it is frustrating to miss otherwise perfect shots because your enemy started hitting you first. With aim punch in the game you might have a great aim, but often that doesn't matter at all because your crosshair gets punched away from your enemy. And speaking about vests, ever since we got limb penetration, shots that previously hit the arms now goes through and hit your vest. This means that your vest overall gets hit more and will now break much sooner than previously, which often means that your vest is either completely broken or completely gone. This is a hot topic in the PUBG Pro scene, and I think almost all pros would like to have the durability on vest increased so they last longer. I completely agree with this and I think this would also encourage players to take more fights. Bullet Penetration PUBG does not have bullet penetration, meaning that your bullets does not go through objects regardless of how thin they are. This makes for some silly situations where even the thinnest wooden object would stop all damage. I would like to see bullet penetration implemented to at least thin objects such as railings, wooden window bars and the like. Grenade penetration. Many games doesn't have grenade penetration and PUBG is one of them. This is a problem in PUBG due to the many objects around the map. If you can't see the nade, then it can't hurt you and this can sometimes lead to game-breaking situations where enemies won't take a single tick of damage because the nade is behind a wooden leg of a table. I know that grenade penetration is a difficult thing to program, but it is still something that I would like to see in the future. Driver Seat Position when you get into a car alone, you will do that 99% of the time with the intention of getting into the driver's seat. But instead, you get into the seat you are closest to. This means that most players always swap seats as the first thing they do when entering a vehicle. I would love to see that the default seat was the driver's seat in all vehicles, or at least make selecting primary seat an option in gameplay settings. If I want to go in a different seat than the driver's seat, I can swap and I would rather have to do this once out of 100 times rather than 99. Grenade Throwing When throwing a grenade, the path of the nade is being decided at the very moment the animation starts. Because of this you can't change your throw during the animation. This can make it really difficult and unintuitive to place your nades where you want them to while moving. I would like to see that the throw destination is determined at the moment the grenade leaves the hand rather than when the throw is being initiated. Opening Doors When you open a door in PUBG, it always opens outwards, never inwards. Because of this, the doors will sometimes block whatever you want to aim at. I'd like to see this changed and have a way of opening the doors inwards as that would allow me to better position myself and have doors being more a tool rather than an obstruction. Scope Swapping When you put a scope on a weapon, you can either do that by right clicking or dragging it onto the weapon. You need to open your inventory every time you want to swap. I would love to see a hotkey for scope swapping, just like they have in Island of Nine, or have the option to put a canted sight on the weapon while also having a scope equipped at the same time. Blue Zone Timings The last one on the list is an adjustment to the Blue Zone mechanic. 
the blue zone moves very quickly mid to later circles on the Rankel and Mirror Mark, which often makes it impossible to move on foot without taking blue zone damage if you're just a bit away from the zone. In competitive PUBG settings, the circle speed has been slowed down to avoid forcing players into hasty rotations that means death and instead the circles move more often. This is a great balance and is a pleasure to play with when playing the bigger maps and I definitely think that this should be put on live servers as well. That was 10 game mechanics that I would like to see changed. What would you like to have improved or changed? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe for more PUBG content and I'll see you guys next time.